Have you ever thought how many people out there have the exact same shirt you're wearing right now? Probably the same pants as well. Not only that, but how many people are about to buy that shirt tomorrow, next week, or next month? But why did you buy it in the first place? Most likely because you liked it, you could afford it, and you needed a shirt to wear. And if you happen to stumble upon someone that has the same shirt, you'll probably go, ha, I got the same shirt. So does that mean you're not original because you're wearing the same shirt as the other person? What does original even mean? Am I the first person to ever put a camera in the fridge and pretend that's just how I keep my camera? Ready to go all the time. You know, but it's cool. It's cool to take these shots, you know. Oh. So, originality is the aspect of created or invented works as being new or novel, and thus distinguishable from reproductions, clones, forgeries, or derivative works. An original work is one not received from others, nor one copied from or based upon the work of others. It is a work created with a unique style and substance. The term originality is often applied as a compliment to the creativity of artists, writers, and thinkers. Now check this out. The existence of originality has been questioned as there are no clear boundaries when a derivative work is considered original. Hmm. So with that in mind, my question is, can a video maker, a YouTuber, still be original today with all this abundance of styles, ideas, and access to information? If we go back to the shirt analogy for a minute, just because you wore the same shirt does not mean you somehow copied each other. In fact, I think that if you look at all the other clothing items you both have, you formed a different look, a different style, but you were wearing the same shirt. You know, maybe one of you had a leather or a denim jacket on top, the other one had a hat. You get it. Being truly original on the internet is hard, and some may argue impossible. The other day I was watching a live stream of Peter Lindgren, and he actually got to answer my question, which is, can new YouTubers still be original in 2022? So Peter pretty much confirmed what I was thinking already. You basically create your own style by absorbing bits by bits from all the people you look up to. And that's pretty much the point I'm trying to make with this video today. I mean, think about it. If you really become the best pieces of all the artists and creators you look up to, Shouldn't that be the dream? Wouldn't that be amazing? So if anyone at some point recognizes a piece of someone else in you, take it as a compliment. So this is Denmark for you in July. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock p.m. and that's how much light there is. So yeah, of course we should inspire. Of course you need to create your own style by taking bits and pieces from all the people you admire. But you know what often happens, and I'll admit, I've been guilty of this myself in the past. A lot of us get offended on someone else's behalf. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just because you recognize a piece of someone else's work in this other artist over here. Why, why do we do that? For example, one of my favorite YouTubers is Peter McKinnon. And a couple of years ago, on his channel, he started a series called Two Minute Tuesdays, where he would make tutorials on photography and videography. And if you know the series, you know it kind of became a thing that there were never two minutes. But that's not the point. The point is, a couple of months ago, I've discovered a new YouTuber that I like and follow called Mark McGee. This guy has started a series on his channel called Two Minute Toots. So, Toots being short for tutorial, where you guessed it, he makes tutorials on photography and videography. And first I was like, Mark. Come on. But shortly after, I was like, what? Peter McKinnon owns the right of making two minute tutorials on the internet? So if you're watching this and you want to start something new and your biggest worry is how do I look or sound original? Well, chances are you won't. So try to find your own voice, your own style by 
consuming content by looking up to the people you admire. So this is my studio. I have so much still to unpack. I love you for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Ciao.